Hey guys, welcome back to my PCOS BSG journey. Um, I am two weeks post-op as of uh, this Friday. Um, I'm feeling really great. I'm able to get in my water. I'm able to get in my protein. So quickly on the stats, um, I will also put the stats in the description box below, but currently my weight is 239.8. We can pretty much say I'm still at 240 just about. Um, so my goal is to, you know, hopefully get into the 220s as of next week. We will see. Um, but yeah, everything's going great so far. I am in the next phase, which is the full liquid stage. So the full liquids, there's just a few extra things you can have compared to your liquid stage, which is phase one, which is mostly clear liquids. Um, so right now, phase two, I'm allowed to have cream of wheat, which I have been enjoying like big time. Um, it was so good to me. And, but I think anything would be good at this point. Uh, so cream of wheat, I can have milk, but I'm not a milk person. So I told my nutritionist, I was like, I don't really care about that. Um, so things kind of still feel the same. I'm just adding cream of wheat. Um, the next stage will be mushy foods. That's phase three. I will start that next Friday, I think. Next Friday or Saturday. Um, I was told that I can go ahead and uh, give that a try. I think my first meal is probably going to be scrambled eggs. I don't know. Eventually I want to get back into being vegan. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm definitely going to start out with some animal protein to begin with. I think, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but that's what I've decided. My first, uh, mushy food item will be. And I'm hoping everything's good. My stomach will tolerate it as of right now. I take an anti-acid, which is like Prevacid. I take that every morning on an empty stomach before I consume anything. I have to wait like half an hour. Um, I can have my water and whatever, of course, but uh, protein shakes and all that have to wait 30 minutes after. Um, I had my follow-up appointment with my doctor, so everything was looking good. Incisions were looking good. Um, little note though, I had to stop taking the blood thinners. Um, those were the injections that I was doing in my stomach. I um, called the nurse because I had been experiencing itching all over my body. Like it, it was itching like unlike anything. I normally have sensitive skin, but this was just like out of control. And at first I thought it was sunburn because I've been out in the sun doing my walks, getting all my steps in. But this just kept getting worse and worse. And I'm talking like patches. I would look and I would have these huge, like red blotches. They weren't really that raised, but you would itch and it would just be crazy. Um, and then I started getting it down the backside, um, behind my back. Um, so it just was insane and uncomfortable. And I let the nurse know and she told me to go ahead and stop. Um, because I guess this reaction, though rare in some people, they do see it. So um, I was happy because I hated those injections. I had to do them twice a day um, and I, they really were like the worst part of my day. Um, so I was really happy to stop that. And as soon as I stopped, I was feeling so much better. I took a little bit of like the nurse told me I could have a little bit of Benadryl. So I did that um, just to kind of alleviate the chaos it created. Um, so I told my doctor about that, um, and I have to do some blood work for the two week, um, post-op. So I have that coming up and I need to knock that out. Um, overall, I feel pretty good. I'm amazed at how much I can drink. Um, like I was sitting here like, did this surgery happen or no? But when I drink too fast, um, I do have to like hold off and wait. And it's like you could literally just feel your stomach like filling up and it's working out the air also. There's a lot of air. Um, I burp a lot, you name it. Like you gotta get the air out. So um, that's been happening. Uh, but overall I'm able to get my protein in, I'm able to get my water in, um, which was a concern because many people get this procedure and I've seen so many people like end up back in the hospital for dehydration. 
so I really didn't want that to be me, of course. I get my steps in, I walk on an average of two miles a day, sometimes three. Um, so that's been going really well and um, I'm really starting to visibly see the results, like in my face. Um, and don't mind, I am contoured today, a little strong contour, but you know, the face is slimming down. I just see it up here, honestly, um, some big changes. So that's been pretty cool. Um, my stomach, sometimes I feel like it's still the same, but I definitely know there's a difference. And my legs have slimmed down. So um, all great things. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, so I also um, have moved on to a new medication, which I have to take twice a day. Um, and that, my doctor, my surgeon has me on this medication that helps prevent gallstones. Um, anybody who maybe isn't familiar with this procedure, just know that a lot of times down the road, um, BSG um, patients end up having to get their gallbladder removed because of gallstones. Um, so I was definitely concerned with that, even at my consult, because um, I had researched and learned about this talked with a friend who's been through this procedure. She had her gallbladder removed. Um, so it was just a concern, but he puts you on a medication. I'll be on it for, I think like six months, four months, somewhere around there. I have to take it twice a day. Of course, it's a powder. I have to split the pill and take the powder with some kind of drink or whatever. Um, but that's supposed to help prevent gallstones. So I'm pretty excited to be on that. I don't want that issue. Um, especially since most of those issues, like most of the people that I've like read and researched, they had to go to the hospital like via ambulance because it got to that point. I don't want that experience. Um, so as for my incisions, um, I was worried for a little bit. They started to get really red and um, just really ugly looking and painful, but um, stuck it out they're doing okay i think the lovinox blood thinner had a little something to do with that the irritation um but now things are going good you may have some nights i've had nights where it's like so itchy you just cannot touch them though but they're extremely itchy like crazy off the charts itchy but we're doing really well so i'll show you um my pants are like coming up higher now um, so right here, here's an incision. This is the incision where the stomach actually was removed from this area here. Um, and I haven't had any like pain or anything here. So it's coming along really good. Um, I am using some, uh, a product to help with the, uh, bruising. So this incision's pretty much like scabbed over. This one's looking pretty good. And inside the belly button, that's like much better than it was and it's still pretty sensitive in the belly button but let me tell you if you have seasonal allergies and you had a incision in your belly button i would sneeze and have to hold hold for dear life and it would just it hurt so bad in the beginning now i'm able to sneeze and it doesn't hurt as bad but man for a while there it was like crazy um, but yeah, that's that's my update two weeks going great. I feel more of myself and I'm just super excited to keep progressing and um, Praying that everything goes well with uh, The mushy food phase because so many people I hear they, they have like food aversions like They used to love eggs and then they try eggs again after surgery and they just like cannot do it um, but I Thank God, no nausea. I haven't experienced that. Um, I'm just sticking with my protein shakes. I try to make them exciting here and there, um, but there's not all that much you can do. Uh, and then also I have oftentimes uh, chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth, and I put in a scoop of Genpro or Genpro and that's 30 grams of protein in a little scoop like this big. So um, I put that in a cup of broth and just mix it together really well. And um, that's usually like my dinner. Um, I try to, I'm supposed to be working on getting two shakes in a day, easier said than done. Um, although I feel like it's getting easier as I go. And water, like 
three bottles of water I found like wasn't enough for me. I need to try and aim for four. Um, just because, you know, you're also supposed to look at the color of your urine and kind of base it off of that. And I just felt like, you know, I probably could use a little more water. Um, and that's been tough. Like it took me till midnight of last night, for instance, um, to finish my fourth bottle of water, which is so crazy to me because I used to be able to finish like four bottles of water, you know, probably under, I could probably do that under 45 minutes. Um, so I just, yeah, it's kind of interesting how things are now. Um, but when I eat the cream of wheat, um, that seems to go down really easy. My stomach had no issue with it. And I'm surprised now at how I'm able to sip. Like I thought I would always have to take these little sips and wait, sip and wait. Um, honestly, I can take some consecutive sips. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's what had me sitting here like did this surgery like happen because I'm not feeling like the restriction um, So I just have to be thankful about that because I know a lot of people get that and have a really rough time Even getting in like two bottles of water. So we blessed um, But yeah, thank you um, for everybody who's following um, if you're new to my channel welcome um, I hope to you know my goal is to stay consistent and keep giving you know you my experience um, so you can follow along especially if you're interested in this procedure and you just want to look at someone's journey or if you have PCOS and you're looking at this journey um, I just appreciate all the followers um, all the subscribers here on my channel thanks for subscribing thank you to all my Instagram followers you guys are awesome and I'll just continue to keep sharing um, I pretty much think I hit everything that I wanted to tell you all for the two weeks and I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I feel good. I don't have low energy. I've seen that a lot of people um, complain of low energy and just feeling tired all the time. I don't feel that. I take all my vitamins. Um, I don't know if my body just likes it or just so res the body is just so resilient. Honestly, it's just amazing. Um, but I feel great. So I take B50 complex. I take two multivitamins a day. I also take B12 um, and I take a calcium supplement as well. So uh, yeah, all of those things combined, I feel like those are, you know, key to, to feeling great, um, especially that B12. So um, yeah, that's my update and I will see you guys on the next video. But on my way out, this is what I'm looking like. So I don't know if I always see it like in my stomach just yet. I see a little bit. Um, but like I said, I mostly see a difference like here in my in my arms, like especially like this part of my arm, I felt like was a like much more chunkier. So um, it's pretty cool. I already could see my collarbones. That's not like a new thing to me, but um, I'm definitely seeing more of them. And getting this like jawline, which is really cool because I missed, girl, I missed you. So, um, yeah, thanks for following. I will see you guys on the next video. If you have any questions that maybe I didn't address in this video, put them down below because I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't think of it right now. So, um, and also um, follow along on Instagram to see some of my daily <laughs> activity if you're interested in that kind of thing, um, which I will put the link in the description box below as well. You guys take care. Hope everybody's staying safe in this quarantine time. Remember, we still do have a virus out and about. It is still a pandemic, so take care of yourself, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.